watch me grow Always active, never keep it on the low I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone Only focused on the present, cause the future unknown What's going on, everybody? You're tuned in to another episode of the Peaceful Leaders Podcast with your host, Lizzy the Gifted. I'm documenting my journey as an entrepreneurial musician. I want to share my tips and tricks along the way and just basically share with you my life. This is kind of for me to document just ideas that I have. It's sort of like a video slash audio journal. So I'm really excited about today's topic. This is something that I actually got on another person's podcast, the YNK podcast by Mike, the artist formerly known as Mike Studd. His podcast is dope. Honestly, I kind of model my podcast a lot after him. So what I want to share with you is actually a humongous, humongous, why can't I talk? A humongous shift mentally that I just had that has completely changed the way I look at myself and life in general and I really, really want to share with you. But before I do, make sure if you're watching this on YouTube, like this video, subscribe. If you're listening to this on audio, make sure to leave a rating and review. And I'm really excited for today's topic. So basically, I'm just going to jump right into it. Basically, I stopped goal setting. Now, what does that mean? That's like a big shift. Uh, For those of you who know me somewhat well, you know that I'm pretty big on goals. I've always been big on goals. I used to love setting goals because it would give give me something to look forward to and it would give me something to work for. Here's what happens though. And I think that Mike got this from a book and I want to say it was... The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. I have not read the book yet, but I plan on it. I'm a pretty avid reader. I read every day. And basically the idea is, and I'll just share it from my own experience. When I would set goals, basically I'd set this goal, right? I want to make $10,000 a month. Let's just use that as an example. Every day I'm not at that goal, I'm unhappy. And whenever people would say enjoy the journey, trust the process, all that shit, I never liked hearing that because I didn't understand it. I didn't like hearing it because I didn't feel that way. The truth is I didn't feel like I was enjoying my journey because I wasn't, I wasn't at my goal. And it made me realize that that's not the right way to do it. You're allowed to be happy even if you haven't quite hit the point where you want to hit. And I learned that a lot of these things like goals, key performance indicators, just like stuff like that. That's all just man-made constructs. It's only as real as the power we give it. It's not like it's reality because we say it's reality. So my point is I feel as though when I was setting goals, it was good, but I obviously kept moving the bar. And so the other thing too is when you do hit your goal, You end up not being happy anymore because you're done with that goal. The winning feeling only lasts like a second. And then it's over and you got to get to the next one. There's no enjoying the journey. There's no aspect of like mindfulness. There's no aspect of pleasure and fulfillment. Really, there isn't. Because you're just doing these things. I was just doing these tasks and doing these things that weren't really making me feel fulfilled. But I was like, oh, it's for this thing I'm doing. It's like this goal thing I'm doing. It's like it wasn't making me feel fulfilled. So, to flip it, then what do you do? How do you keep yourself going? What is it that we're aiming for? Instead of a goal, I'm aiming now for an identity. So what does that mean? Rather than chasing a goal, develop your identity. So this is what I'm doing, right? Like, so to get to 10K a month, whatever it is that I'm doing, whatever vehicle I'm in, whether it's owning a business, whether it's sales, whether it's performing live, whether it's selling merchandise, whatever it might be that I'm doing, I'm like, okay, well, what's the optimal, what would the optimal person do in this situation? So if I'm, a, if I'm doing sales, the optimal salesperson that would get that much money would be someone who's super helpful, charismatic, happy, not desperate, somebody who's genuinely trying to help the other person on the side of the screen or phone. Instead of saying, I wanna to get to 10K a month, I'm gonna go into this sales call with that in mind, I'm going into the sales call rather trying to change my identity. What's the best version of myself that I can portray today to this person? And so that's essentially what we're trying to do here. What I'm trying to do here. I don't know about you, but what I'm trying to do is change my identity. 
as an artist, what can I do to be the best artist that I can be? Not what am I going to do to be as big as Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick, Big Sean, and them. That's comparison. That's not your identity. That's their identity. Accolades, sure, you can get accolades. You can want to reach accolades. But the truth is not, the, 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 the point is not like, okay, I got to be like them. No, no, don't be like, like, I'm not trying to be like them. I'm trying to be me. The best me. And I know that the best me can get to their level. I know that. I know that for a fact. So I just have to change my identity. I already know what the goals are. Obviously getting a Grammy would be dope, right? Million streams, million monthly listeners, million people on my email list, plaques on the wall. Like these are things I obviously know I want, but I don't have to keep concentrating on those things. I know I want those things. But if you just, if I concentrate on those things, it's not gonna help me be happy. And in fact, a friend of mine, a friend of mine named Zach, Tech Bands, I actually had him on my other podcast, the Music Mastery Podcast. Really, really good homie of mine. We talked about that too. We talked about meditation one time. I'll never forget this. He asked me, what do you, what do you concentrate on during your meditation? And I'm like, you know, visualization, look at my goals, blah, blah. He's like, that's not the wrong kind of energy. So what do you mean? He's like, that's not a high vibrating frequency. What was it? Is that? Something like those kinds of words. I don't know. He, he said the right words. And I said, well, what do you mean? He's like, dude, because you're, you're constantly looking at the future. You're not focused on the present. He's like, focus on gratitude. When you're meditating, focus on the things you're happy on. I mean, that you're grateful for. And that was kind of like a foreshadowing to the, the lesson I'm really going through now, which is identity. What can I do to be the, be the best husband? And not just in general, but when I get into a specific situation, what can I do to be the best husband right now? What can I do in this moment to be the best Musician, music, business, owner, right? All these things. These are things that have actually helped me get further along. I've only really had this lesson in my mind for like a week maybe, like maybe two weeks. So it's just brand new for me to really be living. It's not, it's not a brand new thing that I've learned, but it's kind of a brand new identity that I've chosen to take on. And so when you're living your life, something I could recommend to you is try it. Try it just like kind of let the goals go. Just say, I, I know I want to get to this certain point. Like For me, I know I want to get to $10 million a year. I know I want to make that much. I know. You know, I know I want to get to $100 million a year. I know I do. It's not like I have to think about it all the time. I don't. I just need to form the identity that it's going to take to get me there. The other thing that ends up happening for me is I'm more excited about events that will happen rather than just like a number. So like when I get to a certain amount of money, I know I'm going to be able to go on these certain types of vacations. So I think about those vacations. Like there's this one vacation I have in my mind that I actually have, shoot, really two vacations that I have in mind. And I think about those. I think about those. There is a certain car that I want, but I'm not that focused on the car. I'm really more focused on the vacations. I'm more focused on my day-to-day. -day. What's my day-to-day -day look like in my dream life? And then I kind of reverse engineer and go, well, how do you feel? How do I feel in my dream day-to-day -day life? And then I think, what's the identity? Who are you in that dream day-to-day -day life? I reverse engineer it to a point where I start living that person right now. And, I, and, and slowly but surely, I start manifesting my dream life. Now, I'm not an expert on visualization, manifestation, and all of that stuff. This is just kind of based on what I've heard and what I've experienced for myself. So, I really hope this helps. If it did help, drop a comment, tell me how it helped you out, tell me if it's something that you're going to start implementing in your life, changing your identity rather than just goals. And that would be awesome. Of course, if you're on YouTube, again, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification as well, so every time I drop a vid, you don't miss it. And also follow me on Instagram at Lazy the Gifted. subscribe to the podcast, on the audios, all that good stuff, right? I appreciate you for watching and listening. I really, really hope this got some value. Or you got value from this because the truth is I'm really just doing this because I miss putting out content. I miss sharing ideas. This is genuinely just for the love. I don't really think I'm going to make a ton of money off this. I don't really care. I don't plan on having sponsors or anything like that. I'll take them if they come, but I'm not planning on it. This is just more for me to express myself, share some ideas with you, and see if I can help somebody make their life better, right? This has been another episode of the Peaceful Leaders Podcast with Lizzie the Gifted, and I will talk to you next time. Peace!